Winds pick up, clouds roll in. The sky turns an eerie hue. For some of you, this is just a thunderstorm. For us in Arizona, once the average dew point reaches 55 degrees for three consecutive days, then welcome to the beginning of the North American monsoon. Check out these photos from the Arizona monsoon season this past summer. On July 16th of 2017, the severity of monsoon was on full display. Arizona authorities say at least nine bodies have been recovered after a flash flood swept through a popular recreation area north of Phoenix. Nine people were killed, including six children. Bodies were found as far as two miles downriver. One person, a 27-year-old man, is still missing. Flash flood came upon them and washed 14 of them downstream. We all knew Miguel, and he was a sweetheart. He, he he's always like making making sure you were okay, making sure you like had a good time. That was the impact of one monsoon storm. One storm that's part of a great seasonal shift that takes place every year. Our season here got a little bit of a late start. Um, it, uh, it started maybe about mid-July here in the Phoenix area. But uh, since then, it's been rocking and rolling. This is Ken Waters, a warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Phoenix. He says the seasonal forecast for the monsoon is currently pretty difficult to predict. The monsoon here in the southwest is variable. It's variable in time and it's variable in space. What we see is season to season, it's not the same. Every year we end up seeing somehow a, a different kind of a monsoon season. Now, what meteorologists can foretell are increases in moisture. At its simplest, a monsoon is just a large shift in winds followed by a downpour. Instead of winds coming from the west, this time of year, winds stream in from the south and southeast, straight from the Gulf of California and the Gulf of Mexico. These shifts bring a ton of moisture into Arizona. By mid-July, all that moisture has moved its way up across the state. Combined with the heat and other variables, the atmosphere becomes unstable. In 2008, meteorologists at the National Weather Service declared the period between June 15th and September 30th as Arizona's official season for the monsoon. Even though an official season has been declared, the unpredictability of the monsoon presents a real threat. So far this year, 2017 monsoon rainfall totals have been greater than the normal totals from 1981 to 2010. Because of this extra rainfall, driving on public streets or highways that are barricaded due to flooding can be a risk. It doesn't take much, maybe only about a foot of uh, fast flowing water to start to pick up vehicles. If you do get stuck and an emergency crew is called to save you or your car, you'll risk having to pay up to $2,000 in fines under Arizona's stupid motorist law. So next time a monsoon storm approaches, don't be stupid and be prepared.